¿Qué tal mi familia? Simo Hero here again. Yes, back again on the channel. And we are back with another part of Snacko. Um, I have really enjoyed playing this game. Um, in the last video, we basically set up the farm and we set up our house as well. As you can see, I only have a bookshelf, a lamp, a bed, and whatever this thing is. Think it's some sort of oh, okay it's just storage um anyways today uh we have already set up the museum um so we're gonna go over there and take a look to see if there's anything else i've also been told that we might be starting uh to expand on getting more people onto the island as well so we'll see what comes of that uh let's go ahead and head out and start our day shall we <laughs> Morning, Josh. I'm here with a good idea. All right, Mikan, I'll listen to your idea. And Mister is here to help too. Mm. You know, you know how I've always been a project management goddess, right? Okay, sure. Right. So anyways, I've been thinking of ways to improve this island and our quality of life here, and I came up with this. Mikan's Island Advancement Objectives. Me, me, oh god. It's a, <laughs> it's a freaking cat joke. <laughs> or meow for short. Amazing, right? Hehe, <laughs> or should I say a uh, meow's. Okay, I'm leaving. Mm. See, no Nobu and I just looking at each other, and we're, we're both just in the same boat right now. It's a list of objectives that will help grow the island. If you do well, I'll even be able to trade for more goodies at the marketplace. Here, I'll write them down for you. The first meow has a bunch of basics that will help you get started on island life. Okay, so I got the first one. Uh, first meow involves opening stores in town. Okay, so this is what I was saying before, is that as soon as we got stuff like this, we might be able to get people. I brought Mr. over to help explain how we, we can trick, I mean, attract new shopkeepers and residents. Oh, you're asking if I'm going to work on the meow? I'll be um busy writing the next set of goals for you, so yeah. Again, I feel like I should be surprised, but I'm not in the slightest. Anyways, good luck with them. I know you can do it. Again, Nobu and I, same exact wavelength. Uh, Project Meow. Each Meow will have a series of subtasks to lead you to a brighter tomorrow. You can review them at any time in your journal's quest log. Completing the whole set is bound to bring you something good. Okay. She's sure full of energy, that one. Now, I know the island is in good pause. Your kids will do great. Can't wait to see the place thrive again. Now, what Furball was saying about having shop open up here and all. Have you heard of the Capital Tribune? Of course you have. It's the main newspaper that runs in the city all the way out to small islands like us. They also got a huge bulletin board smack dab in the middle of Capital City. You can send in ads for the company to post on that big old board. I'm sure hundreds of folks walk by that every day. I'm sure if you put an ad looking for someone to try their luck at starting new on an island, you'll get something back. For now, why not a grocer? They'll be able to sell you seeds and whatnot. I'll grow a couple of things, but you probably want to use your big farm. It'll be easy. Just go and specify you're looking for a grocer. Walk up to your mailbox, send out a letter for a posting. We'll probably take a day or two, but you'll get a reply. Uh, expanding the town. Post listings to attract residents or shopkeepers to your town. Start by accessing the invite tab in your mailbox by your house for now. Uh, invite any grocery you can. Buy some seeds. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do just that then. So, we'll invite and listing so we're looking for snacko island is looking for a grocer but it looks like we can also do a carpenter and new friends later on cool uh we're looking for someone who's 
uh, willing to move. <laughs> this day and age, only people who are willing to move. Uh, easy going, quirky, sassy, prim and proper, willing to move. Well, I feel like we already have prim and proper with our person who is in the museum. Willing to move that, it's me and Mikan all the way. Uh, but Mikan is also sassy. Uh, let's go with quirky, why not? Uh, housing provided in the beautiful and growing community of Snacko Island. We look forward to hearing from you. All right, let's post that. Awesome. Now I have to wait for a reply. I'll check my mailbox tomorrow. Let's go ahead and see if we have any objectives right now. So where are we at? Quests. So for the first meow, again, don't know why she's just say, naming it like that. I have a grocery on the island. We also need to have a carpenter on the island. Okay. We need to upgrade a tool, cook five times, and after all of that is done, we talk to Mikan. Okay. And then for the New Horizons, we still need to wait for a grocer. My guess is that that means that we're kind of done for the day. In that case, let's go ahead and water our crops and then we can go to bed, I suppose. You know what, I knew that we were going to go ahead and finish off the day already, but I think we need to explore some of these other areas. Uh, we haven't been to the Goddess Pond or the Plains. Uh, we're kind of heading towards the direction of the Goddess Pond, so let's just go ahead and head that direction and see if uh, there's anything to be seen in this way. Okay, so this is the pond area. Oh, there's a little... Okay, what's this? What's this say? Goddess Pond. Pre, pre, sh, okay. There's some more text, but it's too faded to read. Okay, can we go through here? Oh, we can. Oh, okay, so it's like a little quiet area. What's that thing? What's that in the middle? Okay. Oh, d is this like a... Oh, okay, so we're in the middle section. So if we go back, we go back to the farm. Then we have desert, plains, tundra, and town. Interesting. Okay. What's this thing in the middle? I'm not sure what this is. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just pick a direction then. Uh, grassy plains. Let's go here. Cool. Oh, what's... Okay, hold on. Welcome to the grassy plains. The plains are shared place, space. Please respect your neighbors and friends. Contact the parks board officer for questions and concerns. Sign looks a little old, okay. So it looks like we have stuff that we can break here, actually. Uh, and these don't look like regular rocks either. It's iron, okay. So this is where we can get some iron. This purple line, what is this? Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so I guess we can't go there. It looks like the desert is blocked. We can't go that way. There's something over here for mines. What is this crescent moon shape thing? So it's behind us. So pretty, I swear. Ooh, some fishing pond. It looks like a little fishing pond. Okay, so whatever, oh, it's this thing. There's something unsettling about this place. Maybe I shouldn't wander here alone. Okay. Maybe something that's locked for now, I'm guessing, and then we'll be able to do something later. I did see that there was something about a mine up in this direction. What's this? Uh, hey you, yeah you. You're important, and you're enough. Thanks for hanging in there, you. Keep it trucking. I didn't think I needed a, a game to make me feel nice, but hey, thanks. <laughs> okay, oh, and looks like we're up in this direction for the mines. Oh, but it looks like, it, oh, it's block two, okay. Uh, Grassy Plains Campground. Uh, there's another one of those things over there and okay, so that's the entrance to the mine Unfortunately, and it does look like it's being blocked. 
Okay, so we can't go towards the desert and the mines. Okay, so I guess the only thing we can do now, I guess, is go towards uh, town. I'm guessing there's some stuff that's locked here that we won't be able to see for quite some time. So let's head back into town. All right, back in town. Uh, let's check the bulletin board to see the oh there is something on the bulletin board okay I was just about to say let's go check it to see if they were not missing anything okay uh let's see intro to farming are you getting the hang of farming yet you should come to s come see me with your tools nobody may not look it but I've got a good six lives or so of farming knowledge packing in Minogan okay cool Fishing for compliments. Uh, you should come find me when you get a break from work spot. This old man will teach you about fishing. If you humor me long enough, I'll teach you how to craft your own rod. How's that for a deal? Perfect. Okay. And then, them apples. You've heard what about them apples before, right? Well, what about them? I want to know. Help me find out. Meet me in the grassy plains. I've heard you can find apples there. Okay, there might be some more stuff to do there then. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and find Nobu. Because he's got some stuff. Um, uh, where would Mr. Nobu be? Nobu is over here on my right. Nobu, donde estas? Noble. Okay, he must be up here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, Mr. Nobu. What's up? Uh, yeah, you wanted to talk about farming. You got my quest about farming basics, yeah. Okay, yeah, teach me more about farming. All right, Sprout. You remember the basics, yeah? Of course you do. Till the soil, plant the seeds, and water them. That makes up about 90% of it, as long as you remember to water your crops, you're in the clear. Except when it rains, of course. Then, you wait for him to grow up and yank him out the dirt. Little box even tells you when you can harvest them. Huh? You don't know about box what I, uh, You don't know what box I'm talking about? Don't worry, someone out there knows what I'm talking about. He's talking about us. Anyways, there's some crops where they're useful at earlier stages. That's not many. But the main ones that come to mind are green onions. You plant some onion seeds and you ink them or Okay, so... There's some plants that you can plant at a regular time period, but... If you do it early enough, you'll be able to get a different thing other than what you had initially planted. Interesting. Okay. You'll still see the little books, so it should be easy to know when you can dig them up. Off you go, take them seeds and harvest nine green onions. Think of it as your training arc. <laughs> okay, uh, can be harvested early to use as a garnish or later when it grows into a big bulb. It takes five days to grow. Okay, so we need to plant them, and before the five days are up, we can till them up to get green onions instead of regular onions okay and then nobody there was something else you wanted to discuss yeah about fishing you got my quest about fishing didn't you yeah teach me about fishing all right spell fishing is quite simple you just need some patience and a steady paw when you pop your bobber what <laughs> when you pop your bobber into the water you gotta wait for a bite make sure you don't wait too long for the fish makes off though once you start reeling, steady your hand, make sure you're reeling in different direction in the direction the fish is swimming in, okay? Otherwise if you yank too much one way or another, the fish might just call it quits. Got that? You can try that out. All sorts of water. Off you go, Sprout. Craft yourself a bubble rub. And catch something tasty. Okay, so you can find fish all over the island. Equip your rod, face a body of water, and cast your line. Wait patiently for the right time and reel it up. Different bodies of water in different locations will have different fishes. Okay, let's go ahead and learn us that recipe if we can. 
six and a half hours later. All right, let's go ahead and learn the blueprint for the rod. Alrighty. So what exactly do we need for the fishing rod? There should be something on here about it. Uh, equipment, bubber rod. Uh, looks like we need some more string. If I remember correctly, we can break if We can break some of the boxes and there should be some stuff in there. Awesome. Okay Now we should be able to make our fishing rod. I want to at least attempt fishing And see how it is fishing is different in every single game So we'll see how this works uh, Oh, Perfect Hey, Mikon, how's it hanging? All right, so... Okay, so we toss out the bob, just like that. Yo, Purge! Just happened to perch on my rule lure. Okay. Okay, that was an interesting sort of mini game for fishing. Let's see if we can get that guy closer. Yeah, I'm a little closer than that. Perfect. Guppy, these curious fish like to survey potential risk. Is that how you caught it? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's see what we have for our test for Nobu, if that was all we needed. Looks like that was actually all we needed for Nobu's. Okay, let's go ahead and head on back to the farm. We will plant everything and then we will get going. But before we do, let's go ahead and head to the plains because Mikan needs us to do something with apples uh let's go ahead and head over there and i guess we will meet them there oh cutscene the cat cloud is still so funny to me okay so maybe we came here earlier than what we should have grassy plains oh there's me gun Josh, she came. I've always heard the phrase, but I still don't know what's so special about them apples. Do they have to be a special kind? The ones in the city stores were just okay, but maybe these are special ones? Can you help me look for some? You're an expert when it comes to cutting down trees, after all. I like that I'm being used as free labor, meat gun. Enjoy it. It's, it's a great joy for me. Um, what do you think this is? Okay, yeah, so this is what I was wondering about. It's like some sort of force field. Whatever this nasty looking energy thing is, was also around the pond on my way here. Yeah, I've seen it a couple places. Tried walking past it earlier, but it really hurts. If you, even if you get a teeny bit close to it. Glad I only whiffed by it instead of walking straight into it. Yeah, I hurt myself a couple times. Oh, shoot. You brought step away from there. Gosh, I knew you were up to no good when I saw your white buff slinking away from town. What? Slinking? Rude. Now you listen to me here, both of you. Do not go near the miasma. Oh, this is the miasma. Okay, got it. Got it. Don't ask me no questions, cause I don't got answers for you. Just stay on the way. Don't get hurt. But why? Didn't I just say I had no answers for you? Now come back to town with me, Furball. Same with you, Sprout. The this thing here is dangerous, and it's only been getting worse. Okay. I'm being serious here, Furball. Sorry if I scared you, but the miasma is no joke. Why'd you think this whole town is deserted? 
Sorry, mister. I just wanted some fruit, but I'll stay away from now on. Ah, uh, you kids. Here. Some apples for each of you. Now turn around and back. Go back, you hear? Wow, thanks, mister. You sure are nice. Yeah, yeah. Get to move on for a bowl. Okay, so... That was it then. Okay. So was there anything else for Mikan's request? Okay. Okay, that's fine. I guess we're not doing anything there for right now. Let's go ahead and head back towards the farm so we can plant our seedlings and go from there. Back to the farm. Alrighty, back on the farm. So it looks like we have nine onions to go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and find a spot for each of these boys. All right, we are all planted up with those green onions. I think that's gonna be it for today. Let's go ahead and head on to bed. And well, in fact, let's go ahead and put some stuff in storage that we might not need at least in the moment let's go ahead and oh you know what let's go ahead and do some shipments actually so let's go ahead and send off the catfish and you know what no we're gonna keep these because we can actually go ahead and give these to uh, the museum tomorrow so let's go ahead and do that instead uh, let's go ahead and head on to bed for the evening. Howdy, Sprouts. I was on my morning walk and figured I'd stop by and say hello. I came along too. You know, for just a short while on your own, it looks really good. Soon you'll have a real farm with lots of delicious food. Sure. Anyways, I was saying earlier for... Hello? What was that? What was that? Is it the island's ghosts? Nonsense for ball. Probably just some wildlife or something. There it was again. I don't know. Josh, could you go see what's causing the noise? I'm too scared to move. Well, you heard her. Go on. I'll just uh, look after me. Gone. Why me? Why do I have to do it? Just go. Okay, well, where is that noise coming from? Hello? Oh, it's up here. Wait, oh. Um, hello? My name is Mikan. Now you got the manor kids. Oh, this is the little sprite thing that we saw the other time we were in town with Mikan. This is our little Junimo guy. Will you both of you stop hiding behind me? Oh, shoot. It moved. <laughs> I'm both your tail there, Sprout. I think this fellow's talking, taking a liking to you. I'm glad it doesn't seem to like me. I bet you that a little puff there is hungry. You, you know what it is, mister? I haven't seen one of them myself, but I reckon that puff right there is a real genuine land sprite. You heard about him growing up all the time? It won't bite you, Sprout, so relax. Well, at least it shouldn't. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've got any food on me. All I've got is this soft wood chair. I meant to put it back into storage. What? Whoa. I, f I think it liked that. You, uh, what? This chair? Seems to be looking at a delicious meal. 
But I mean, sure, I was about to put it away anyways. If you want to have it, it's yours. Oh, it, it talks! Ah, that's better. Sprites can talk? Of course, I know eight languages. He uses Babel. He uses uh, Duolingo. I wonder if it knows Spanish. I'm learning my ninth, actually. But the previous Renz took their Learn With Me 123 books with them. After that, I was so hungry and so bored. I see. That must have been hard for you. Well, you got the name, Poof? Name? Nope. You can call me whatever you want. I don't mind. Well, all right then, Puff. What are you doing here? I've been on the island since I was a kid, and I've never seen any other sprites. Well, usually we're not supposed to appear in front of others. The world of the living, I guess. Sprites supposed to keep to the spirits and all that. But after years of peace on this island, everyone started turning against Mama. Mama? <laughs> Mama? A lot of fighting broke out, and the miasma got worse and worse, so everyone left. You two are the first city folk to come to this island in years, so I decided to see what's changed. Yeah, Mama. What is he, what is he referring to as Mama? Yeah, do you know about Messina's his mother? She's the mother of this island, so in a sense, she's kind of my mother as well. Hmm, I see. Makes sense. You're talking about the whole ordeal of stopping offerings, aren't you? Ah, yeah. They said that sh they said she was a selfish goddess, that she only knew how to take from the villagers. But I know it's not true. Ever since then, she's gone dormant. I've pretty much given up looking for her. Wait, she exists? And she's hoping and disappeared? Yeah. I guess that's a little hard to believe, but the goddess that everyone rave... Well used to revere is real. She's been taking care of this island and the ecosystem around it since the island came to be. Well, yeah, if you weren't here, I don't think any of us would have believed all of this. I thought it was just some sort of story to sell trinkets. Uh, you tell them you think you've heard the voice the other day. You heard her? You heard Messina. Really? She's still here? So she hasn't given up yet. She's been watching over us. Uh, but how do we talk to her? And how do we convince her to come back? Hmm. After she left, the miasma started to rise. I feel like it's getting worse. I'm worried it'll engulf the whole island. I don't even know what keeps the miasma at bay. I think only Mama knows. So, I want to ask you a favor. Will you help me find a way to bring Messina back? I'm just gonna tell it no, straight out, straight away. Um, yeah, how will I help? Uh, you can start with the remnants of her shrines and stuff, Scott. Oh, so the things we've been seeing, like by these ponds and stuff, are shrines? You think we can do it? Yes, I think so too. Wow, I can't believe this is all real. But um, what if she like asleep or something? She gets mad you woke her up. It's okay, I'll take the blame for it. I don't even care if she puts me in the timeout corner. I just want to see her again. Uh-huh, timeout corner for sprites. Well then, it's decided, Josh. We're friends now. In fact, I'll live in your little bell. It looks very round and comfortable. Oh, just don't forget to feed me, Kay. I can't eat any I can eat anything, so don't worry about it. I'm not picky at all. Okay. Yeah, you ate my chair. Oh, congrats, I guess. You have a new friend now. All's well ends well. You know, maybe by the end of of it, Miss Goddess will really come back and fix all of this. That's the plan. Well, Sprout, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you two to it, I guess. Happy adventuring. Bye, Josh. Bye, little Sprite. Bye, bye. Oh. 
And this spell is just as comfy as I thought it would be. Anyways, getting the island back into better shape is just as important as exploring. So don't shirk your farm duties just to run off to the grassy plains. Grassy plains. S okay. Uh, your new friend. Uh, your land sprite will be taking easy in your summoning bell. Equipping use it to have your friend join you or return to the bell. Exploring and feeding your sprite will help them grow stronger and unlock abilities to help you on your adventure. You can read more about the sprite care using a bookshelf. Okay, and then sprite growth isn't in the early access version of the game. Okay, that's fine. I just got an idea. You're a farmer, right? So I bet you need a lot of stamina to get you about your day. Well, that's one of my powers. I can help restore your stamina. That's cool. How do you do that? Huh. Um, I guess I'm not strong enough anymore. Do you remember how I wasn't able to communicate with you until I had a bite to eat? It must be like that. Then I'll have to rebuild my strength to get my abilities back. So if you have anything else else you don't need laying around, I'll take it off your paws. You mean you'll eat it then? I bet once my strength's back, I'll be super useful to have around. It's a win-win, right? Okay, so... We will need to have to make stuff in order to keep him fed. And then I guess I can just have him out whenever I want. Is that how that works? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. Alright, well... I guess we're good for now. We're still waiting on the gro- Oh, that's right. We might be able to get our grocer today. Let's go ahead and water our crops real quick. And then we can check to see if we gotten any response back. Nobu did mention that it would take maybe about a day or two days until we get a response back. We did go ahead and send out that invite yesterday, so it's entirely possible that we could have received something overnight. At least that's the hope. And it also looks like some of these turnips are close to be ready to be harvested. Don't, can't remember how to harvest stuff. I wonder if it's just okay, it's one of the tools. Let's see. What happens if we mine it? Nope, not mining. Chop it? Nope, not chopping. And that'll just destroy it. Okay, so let's not do that. Alright, let's check to see if we got anything in the mail. Uh, This is from Nobu. Hey, Sprout. You saw how they were going to start delivering letters from other parts, uh, from, from other parts now. Uh, before you guys came, I had to take my own boat if I wanted to get mail. Guess they figured now that there's more than one resident on the island, it's worth their time to start doing mail service again. I reckon they know your furballs are here, though. That's a very good question, Nobu. Not sure. Uh, invite. Job posting status. Mac. Heyo, my name is Mac. I saw you're looking for a grocer. I have tons of seeds. I have this one particular strain of turnip seeds that are... Oh, there's a word limit? Um, well, I've attached what kind of shop I need, so make sure you have that ready. Okay, bye. I already love this character design, and I'm going to absolutely accept that. Okay, so it looks like we got a permit or like a blueprint. So let's see. Okay, so we learned the rustic grocers. So let's see how we make that. So buildings. Okay. Ooh. We're going to need some stuff. So grass seed. Grass seed is easy to come by. We just kind of whack grass until we get seeds. And I think I even might have some stored. Softwood is easy. Hardwood might be the harder part. Uh, do we have anything in our storage? Not at the moment. Let's look in our house to see if I put anything in that storage container. Nothing in this one either. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and 
start with the seeds first because seeds should be easy to come by. They usually just pop up after killing for a while. Okay, there's one, need one more. Perfect, got it. All right, so, and then we need a lot of hardwood and a lot of softwood. I think that there was a difference. I think if you do the hard trees like this, you get hardwood and softwood. Oh, and it looks like the sprite, let's just call him Puff. The Puff is helping me with attacking as well. Okay. Ooh, and we've got some saplings for hardwood. Okay, so we can replant if necessary. Let's go ahead and go around and smash until we get all the hardwood that we need. We're at, we're at 16 hardwood and 16 softwood. I think we needed 70 hardwood in order to do that. And in fact, I think we can look that up. Buildings, rustic. So we need more stone. We need about half more stone uh, we don't need that much more softwood but we do need a lot of hardwood so let's go ahead and time lapse um, or jump cut until we get that so I'll see you guys here in just a minute all right guys I think we have everything that we need to go ahead and make this building uh, we got 75 hardwood we got 46 softwood 52 stone and five grass seeds so we got everything that we need all done. Uh, back into town we go. All right, so because it's a grocer, I would imagine that the best place for them will probably be in the town center. Now, there is a bunch of dilapidated buildings, unfortunately, so let's clean up the area. Hopefully we have enough energy to go ahead and destroy these things. Oh, we can't destroy that. Oh, we probably need uh, probably need our axe. There we go. Yep, and our sprite guy really helps out with this. Hopefully, we get a lot of resources from knocking down these old buildings. Perfect. Oh, we got a ton. Oh, and even new type of wood, wood too. Okay. Let's get rid of these old poles. Unfortunately, they look broken. Uh, we got a couple of fire fragments too. I'm not sure what these fragments are. I caught a good amount of fragments already. Let's clean up this little front area here too. Make everything kind of at least look somewhat nice and tidy. All right, let's finish breaking apart everything over here. And then we can place down our first building. We got a ton of stuff on that one. Okay, let's go ahead and wood framing. Okay, uh, where is our building? Perfect. So let's go ahead and head over to build. So how do we want this guy facing? Let's see here. I kind of like the look of that, to be honest with you. Or should we have it facing more so... All right, I think let's go ahead and align him right there. Awesome, now we just wait and have them show up tomorrow. Okay, cool. Can we go in? Doesn't look like it, okay. And unfortunately, because we did eat the fish, we don't have any fish that we can give to the museum, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and head back home, end the day, and then let's see who drops by tomorrow. I we're expecting uh, Mac to drop in. All right, let's go find our people and see where we are at. Uh, hello? Who are you? You're not Mac. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this? Hello? Hello? Who are you? 
Okay, he's kind of in a corner. Let's go ahead and find... Wait, who else is on this map? Who are you? Okay, let me take a look. Who is this? Tink. Dragonflies are my favorite. Well, fireflies are pretty fire as well. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so, do we just have characters showing up on the island now? Cool. Uh, oh, Mac is right outside his building. Hello, hello. Alright. Oh, and this is the inside of Mac's shop, huh? Okay. So he's got lots of seeds on display. Uh, and then shop is closed right now. Okay. Inspect. A lot of books on crops and agricultures. Let's see. There are many misconceptions when it comes to what we call vegetables. For example, tomatoes, peppers, and corn are all considered a fruit. As vegetables is a culinary definition. Other surprising distinctions can be found in crops such as eggplants, which is being considered to be a type of berry. Interesting. Okay. What's this video game thing? Uh, prizes. Okay. I'm not sure what this is premium okay let's just do the free whatever this is oh it's some sort of dropper okay cool uh sure i don't genuinely don't know what's going on but okay like pinball I guess okay cool I guess I got whatever that was so it's a little capsule pod with a fish a beta came out okay cool that was fun I'm not sure what that premium currency was so we'll have to check that out at some other point uh, I guess Mac must be close for today there was that other cat yeah he's over here somewhere there he is on my map let's find him and see if we can talk to him oh there you are buff pup do you want to see me run really, 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 really fast? Chasing my tail is not a waste of time, right? One time I was playing a game and... I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Okay, guys, we did have to cut there for a quick second. Um, unfortunately, there's something happened with the recording. Um, we ended up getting a uh, quest from the bulletin board, which was about clearing uh, areas here. We had already done that when we had placed um, Max Grocery Store, so that was fine. And then there was something else about helping out Nobu with his um, uh, hoe. He needed some weeding done. So we went ahead and got that done as well with him and he mentioned something about being able to plant flowers and other stuff like that <laughs> anyways guys for lack of anything else that we need to get done today i think we're gonna go ahead and leave that as a part right there um i do want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you liked it please leave a like comment let me know what you guys thought of today's episode i really enjoyed meeting a lot of the new characters that came up on the island i really like buff pup it seems like some of these characters uh like buff pup and uh tink over there are just kind of one-offs and they kind of just show up in your town from time to time um i'm not sure if maybe they are gonna be characters that you can get later down the line i sure hope so because i would love to have buff pup as my neighbor keep me bored look at him he's just so so haunch looks intense size comparison look at him flexing 
<laughs> um, but we did get Mac, um, and then his grocery is all set up and ready to go. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Um, I cannot wait to get back into this game. Uh, we will be playing more of it on the channel. So, again, if you guys aren't subscribed, uh, what are you doing, first off? <laughs> And secondly, uh, make sure you subscribe. That way you can go ahead and get uh, all the stuff sent to your uh, subscription feed so you know when the next video is out. Hopefully the next video should be out in a matter of a couple of days. Um, but if not, then you also have uh, the second part of Echoes of the Plum Grove to look into. Um, in the first episode of Echoes, we went ahead and kind of got started there as well. Um, if you guys haven't watched that video, it should be a link up, down, anywhere around here. You guys know how YouTube works by now. You should be able to find it so simply. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.